and I repeat, this platform, Vote TV, will continue to raise awareness, will continue to advocate for those who are voiceless. <laughs> Ni my sister. Na ramo ikira hau social media ni niyo doa gwe katia. Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to my Vol TV YouTube channel. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful afternoon. Out here in the woods taking a walk. And uh I know it might be a little bit loud because of the, the cars on the highway, but it's fine. I'll try to increase my vol my volume if I if I have to. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho ningetaka kusema leo hii. Nili post story ya Patricia Wangari on my Facebook page. Na kuna kitu moja ambacho ningetaka agents waelewe na wajue leo hii kwa sababu mnajua everything that i put on my platform it's either a direct request from a the victim or the family kwanza It's either directly from the victim or from the family. Munajua hayo. Na kuna mengi imefanyika. Na tumejionea. Unapata mzazi akilia akiuliza mtoto wangu yuko wapi. Mtoto apigi simu, mtoto ana simu. Mama halali, baba halali. Familia Hailali. That's a fact. Na kuna mengi tumejionea. Unapata mzazi ameambiwa hapana usijali mtoto yuko hai, mtoto yuko kazini. I love the next thing. Unapata surprise ya kwamba mtoto amekufa, ameuliwa. So you should have some common sense and understand where um, the parents are coming from. Now, in case of Patricia Wangari, again, it's a perfect example. Unapona, mama mzazi na anambia agent, anakwambia webe, anakwambia, direada mwana wakwa, nataka mtoto wangu. Nipatia mtoto wangu. Lafu ndio nyinyi hao. Mmeanza siju kuwa block, siju kuwafanya siju nini all these kind of shenanigans happening. Kwa hivyo mweza kuelewa ya kwamba mamake mtoto ana haki ya kujua pali msichana wake anafanya kazi kama yuko salama hiyo ni haki yake si kitu ya kupigania si kitu ya kupigania kama leo hii mzazi wa Patricia Wangari hiyo kazi yote hiyo stress yote kwenda mpaka kwa ofisi ya Ministry of Foreign Affairs kwenda kuandika barua kwenda kuandikia Ministry of Labor barua So why are you letting the parent go through all these shenanigans? Go through all this struggle and all this hustle. 
Why? Kwa nini? Wakati ulipoulizwa mtoto yuko wapi? Patricia yuko wapi? Na alikwambia nipatie mtoto wangu. Ungemwambia? Si kwanza kumpatia story mingi. And I know you are, the agent is watching. And you know yourself. Wacha vitenda wili mingi. Ungeambia mzazi pali mtoto wa mtoto yuko na nafanya kazi nyumba gani? And also you wonder Mbona wasena wengine ambao wako kwa ofisi wanalalamika? Hakuna kitu hajasema. Hakuna kitu hata kitu hatujambiwa. Simi ni simi niliongea hayo. These are the victims who are talking about it. Kwa hivyo Ujue hivi. Mzazi wa mtoto ni haki yake kujua pahali anafanya kazi, kuongea na yeye na simu kama yuko pahali pazuri kwa sababu tumejionea mengi na tumepoteza wengi. And the reason why they pick up the phone and they call me na kuniambia niongee haya maneno is because they are worried about the welfare of their own children. That's all. Tumechoka kuandika kila siku, tunaamka kila kila asubuhi, oh huyu amekufa kila asubuhi, oh kuna mazishi huku, kila asubuhi, oh kuna jeneza imefika kutoka Saudi Saudia. Tumechoka. Hata mimi nimechoka by the way. Honestly, hata mimi nimechoka by the way. I'm tired of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Kwa hivyo ukiona mzazi akiwa na wasiwasi she has every right to be concerned. Kwa sababu ni mengi tumejionea. And I repeat this platform Votv will continue to raise awareness will continue to advocate for those who are voiceless lakini for god's sake kama wewe ukiwa agent unajua pali mtoto yuko ambia mzazi ambia kafiri shika simu ongea, ongea, ongea na familia mzazi wake patricia hii kazi yote, hii stress yote, kwenda kwa Ministry of Foreign Affairs, kwenda kuandika barua, kwenda kwa Ministry of uh, uh, Ministry of Labor. Alafu nakaa hapo nasema, mimi ndio tu naweza kuleta huyu mtoto nyumbani. Mimi peke yake ndio najua pahali anafanya kazi. It's not supposed to be where peke yako. Ambia mzazi pale msichana yuko. That's common sense. But like I always keep on telling you the prop the biggest problem we have in our country is that common sense is not common to is not common to all. Like it to Ni haki ya mzazi ni haki ya mama kujua mtoto wangu yuko wapi? Anafanya kazi nyumba gani? Anaongea na anaongea na anaongea na, na mtoto wake akiwa kwa Mwarabu. Hiyo ni haki yake. Hiyo kitu ya kupigania. I'll see you. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, share, drop a comment. Toa maoni. And may God bless you. May you rise, may you shine, and you prosper as we continue our fasting season. See you in my next episode. Bye-bye.